Trump calls me the next day and says, okay, I've given this million dollars. He personally calls he you. He called. This is the last time I talked to him. How did this happen? I would stop. I got to know about this. This is actually <laughs> Because he may have you killed at some point. That's why I want to I ask you while I still can. Um, so he calls the post switchboard. What does he do? Does he call your cell phone? Well, no, I had been asking all along to talk to him. Uh, and in the past, you could just call him. Like when I talk, written stories about him in the summer of 2015, you could just call his cell phone and get him. And now that was, as he, as he rose in the polls, it was harder to get a hold of him. But I've been yeah. asking, okay, you know, have him call me. Yeah. And so he did. This is the last time we talked. Um, he called me and he said, yes, I've given the million dollars away you know, long after Lewandowski said he already had. And I said, well, did you only give it now because I was asking about it? And he said, you're a really nasty guy. You know, you're just a nasty just guy. Just for asking that just question. For, yeah, he didn't answer right. the question. Yeah. And it was the strangest interview because then, like, I'm not going to argue with him about whether I'm a nasty person, but I had other questions I wanted him to answer. What happened to the other money that other donors gave you to give away? Where the is that? The other five million. The other five million. Right. And so I'm not just going to argue with him. So then I, he would say, oh, you're a nasty guy. You're terrible. And then I would you know, go back and ask a factual question, and he would reset, and he'd, he would give some factual answer, which would then devolve into more insults of me, and then we'd go back again. It was the strangest interview.